Hello everybody and welcome to part 3 of my Fire Level 6 Hard Mode Chapter Guide. Today we're going to be looking at, well, Chapter 3, obviously. Um, this chapter is pretty straightforward. Uh, there is mostly the start that's the, the annoying part about this chapter. But for starters, let's talk about the character that we're going to be getting. There's two characters in this chapter. One of them we get initially and that's Chad. He's our first thief. Um, thieves are useful in most Fire Emblem games. Really useful in this game. Chad is... The second best of the thieves, um, we're going to be getting a thief not too long after this that just has like better stats. Uh, specifically with thieves in this game, you can't promote them or anything as far as his stats are concerned. It doesn't really matter. I mean, he's fast, he's frail, he's a thief, right? You really shouldn't train him. You can't promote or anything. Um, thieves in this game, Chad is really good, as I said, uh, but there are a decent amount of them. As I said, we're going to be getting a stall not too long after this and then eventually you get Kath as well so there's three thieves in this game which is quite a few thieves uh also lock picks really easy to come by in this game i wouldn't worry about them too much in fact a couple of times the way Kath works and we'll talk about that when we get there the way Kath works is that you have to talk to her three times right so when you're talking to her the first two times you can just steal her lock pick uh so that's a couple free lock picks so a few really easy lock picks to steal off thieves they actually sell for a bunch, and the point is, don't worry too much about lockpicks. Don't worry too much about thieves. They're very abundant in this game. Also, lockpicks have 30 uses, which is quite a few. There is a lot of places to use them on, a lot of chests in this game. But uh, yeah, Chad is a serviceable unit, obviously incredibly frail uh, combat-wise, but thieves are very useful. So let's talk about the chapter itself. Like I said, this chapter is pretty darn straightforward. The biggest thing about this chapter, I would say, is the beginning is really annoying <laughs> because we don't have access to our convoy. But specifically, we don't have access to uh, moving around where our starting deployment is. And what's really annoying about this is that when Fire Emblem decides our starting deployment, they put like a bunch of weak units in front and a bunch of strong units in back. And that's pretty annoying. My biggest recommendation is just to take the first couple of turns slowly. There's really no reason to rush any part of this chapter. Um, there are some reinforcements, but none of the villages are going to be destroyed or anything. Um, so just take it slowly. Don't overextend units. I have absolutely lost units here before because uh, the soldiers, as weak as soldiers are, and they're going to be as we progress through the game, they actually have a decent amount of strength and can hit pretty hard. Um, so just take it slow. Past that point, there's not a ton, as I said, of, of like complicated stuff to this chapter. There's some guys that are going to come at you from the left. Um, there's some guys that are, of course, in the main area. Make sure you get the house to the right. There's also another new character in Lou in the house to the north. Um, so we'll talk about him a little bit. Lou is... I think a pretty amazing unit. Mages in this game I like quite a bit. Their hit is really good, which is actually kind of unique in this game. Lou, as a character, is just kind of a generic mage. He's more on the less magic, but sort of faster side, which is fine. Um, you know, you kind of wish, I guess, that he would have more magic. But he starts doubling and consistently can do it when he's a sage, which is nice. I also just like mages quite a bit in this game. As you progress later, and stuff like wyverns become uh much more plentiful this is why archers are actually kind of useful in this game more so than other in other games um sage's ability to hit really hard and use things like air caliber makes them really nice and lose really easy to train has nice bases i like Luke quite a bit highly highly recommend training Luke. i do on basically every playthrough um i think he's great and so progressing with the rest of the chapter the biggest thing I guess to know would be that there's there's a, a two spawn of cavaliers that are going to be spawning from close to the boss and they'll run through the fort at you. Um, but just handle these as you go. As I said at this point, we're going to want to be training uh, Lance and Alan. As I said before, help you know Marcus helping out. Um, one thing that I will say is when you do get to the boss. So this is another armor knight. So the question is how are we killing the armor knight? And the options are basically the same as they were before. You have the armor slayer. Probably on Deke, maybe you want to use the Armor Slayer on Marcus or the Silver Lance. Lou can potentially do some damage, but he doesn't take hits well. Ellen's healing also isn't very good. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend doing this. It's, it's kind of annoying. Uh, Deke with the Armor Slayer, I think, is a good option here. Just like in the previous chapter, getting him at level is also nice or some good experience. One of the things that you do have to be aware of is uh, reinforcements in this game are on... Uh, what are they what are the enemy phase i guess they, they call them ambush spawns so you don't you, you, they don't like spawn and then you can take a turn right and you have to be aware of this because the calves have a lot of movement and spawn really close to the boss so if you are doing something like um using Lou to chip the boss or fighting with roy or or even if deke just took a big hit make sure you're either 
like uh, choking the point so that they, after they spawn, they don't get at him. Or you can, of course, just keep you know be aware of when the reinforcements are going to be coming. But just be aware of that. Um, there are also two chests, obviously, that you want to handle with uh, Chad. Um, but yeah, once you've beaten the boss, that's the end of the chapter. Pretty straightforward chapter. Uh, the next chapter is going to be very different, but this one, pretty straightforward. So yeah, hope everybody enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.